Hi students, welcome back to our channel, Ravindra for students. In today's video, we are going to see how to manage time effectively, especially for engineering students. Before starting our video, if anybody watching our channel first time, please subscribe to our channel and please don't forget to click on bell icon to get the notifications when I upload any new video. If we take the time per day, it is 24 hours, it is fixed. We cannot change it, not at all possible. Then for our convenience, we are dividing this 24 hours in a day into four slots. You know very well, that is the first one morning, second one afternoon, third one evening and last one night. So we can mix this evening and night also as a single slot if we require. Right. So if you see the morning time, it is 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then afternoon slot is 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. And the evening is 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. And then night is 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. In order to manage the time effectively, we are dividing the morning slot 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. into five convenient slots as follows. The first slot in the morning session is from 6 a.m. to 7.15 and second slot 7.15 a.m. to 7.45 a.m. Third slot 7.45 a.m. to 9.45 a.m. Fourth slot 9.45 a.m. to 10 a.m. and fifth slot 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. The very first session of the morning slot is 6 a.m. to 7.15 a.m. This 1 hour 15 minutes is reserved for three main purposes they are wake up walk up and make up purposes the second slot of the morning session that is 7:15 to 7:45 am that is a totally of a 30 minutes duration is reserved for the breakfast purpose so we have to take the breakfast as early as possible so that is a good habit to maintain good health isn't it the third time slot in the morning session that is 7.45 to 9.45 a.m. is very important that is the wanted study slot 1 for us. So in this study slot 1, you have to select the subject which is involving the analytical part. So that is involving a lot of mathematical equations and needs a lot of assumptions to understand the concept. You have to select that type of subject in this study slot 1. And don't forget to take a break for 10 minutes after 50 minutes of your study in this time slot. Why? Because by taking the breaks for every 15 minutes, our human brain will develop alpha waves. So those alpha waves will help us to store the information what you have studied permanently in the memory. We cannot forget whatever the information you have studied in this very first slot. It was scientifically so that's why the very morning session timing slot you have to select the subject which you feel difficult. Now after studying the difficult subject in study slot 1 then the next slot fourth slot in morning session that is 9.45 to 10 a.m. just 15 minutes you take it as also as a break uh, to check any important messages if you are having in your mobiles and check all your social media so make use of this 15 minutes of break to check up all your notifications in your mobile the next and the last time slot in the morning session that is a two hours slot uh, from 10 a.m to 12 p.m is our second wanted study slot 2 in this study slot 2 you have to select the second difficult subject already in the first two hours slot of the morning session you have selected the most difficult subject now in this second slot you have to select the second difficult subject and here also don't forget to take a break of 10 minutes after every 50 minutes of your study now after studying the two difficult subject in the morning or two two hours slots now we are entering into the the second afternoon session that is 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. So this 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. again we are dividing into five 
sub slots or sub divisions the first one is from 12 pm to 2 pm second one 2 pm to 3:30 pm third one 3:30 pm to 4 pm fourth one 4 pm to 5:30 pm and the last session in this afternoon is from 5:30 pm to 6 pm the very first session in this afternoon is from 12 pm to 2 pm so do you know what we have to do in this 12 to 2 yes it is totally a lunch break you can have the lunch within this uh, uh, two hours of duration after the lunch immediately we are entering into the third study slot that is very difficult time slot of duration uh, one and a half hour that is from uh, 2 pm to 3 30 pm so in this uh, difficult uh, uh, slot you have to select the subject in which you are having physical activity related tasks like flow charts drawing of diagrams drawing of charts tables that type of subject if you select so due to the physical activity you are doing the sleepiness you are getting in this slot will be avoided and here also don't forget to take a break of 10 minutes after 40 minutes not 50 minutes here after 40 minutes you have to take the break to refresh your mind so that uh, you can remember permanently in the memory now after completing the difficult study slot 3 now you can take a break of half an hour as a tea and snacks break from 3 30 pm to 4 pm after having the tea and snacks, now we are having a one more one and a half hour session that is from 4 pm to 5.30 pm as our study slot 4. So in this study slot 4, don't take the new subject. You have to revise what is the subject you have studied in the first study slot of the morning session. Just revise. You can perform the quiz by yourself or you can take an online quiz or you can discuss with your friend if you are having any doubts. So just to revise what is the subject you have studied. Here also in this one and a half hour study slot, don't forget to take a break of 10 minutes after 40 minutes of your study. Not 50 minutes, it is 40 minutes of study. The remaining half an hour in this afternoon session that is from 5.30 to 6, also you can take it as a fresh up break for this 30 minutes you can do any fresh up you can do both or you can play a small game carom with your friend or your brother and sister available with you or you can relax in this half an hour now the third combined time slot that is evening and night combined from 6 pm to 6 am is again divided into five convenient slots as the first slot is from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Second one is 7.30 to 8.15 p.m. And next third is 8.15 to 9.45 p.m. Then fourth one is 9.45 to 10 p.m. And then last one 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. 8 hours very lengthy slot. In the first slot of this category that is from 6 p.m. to 7.30 that is one and a half hour duration. What we have to do is, you have to revise what is the second subject you have already studied in this study slot 5. Don't take the new subject. Here also you have to revise the second subject. As of afternoon, you have revised one subject and already you have studied three different subjects. Now, so you have to revise the second subject what you have studied in the morning second slot here also don't forget to take a break of 10 minutes after every 40 minutes of your study now from 7 30 to 8 15 in this category it is reserved for dinner we can have our dinner in this 45 minutes of time after the dinner, immediately we are having from 8.15 p.m. to 9.45 p.m. One and a half hour is our last study slot, sixth study slot of the day. So in this sixth study slot also, don't take the new subject. As of now, we have studied three different subjects and we have revised two subjects. And that remaining third subject revision should be done in this study slot 6 here also in this one and a half hour time 
don't forget to take a break of 10 minutes after every 40 minutes. Now, after completing the three different subjects and their revision, now take 15 minutes of duration to plan what you are going to do in the tomorrow's session. So, you have to plan today itself about tomorrow. You should be very well in advance. So, for that you can follow the very famous popularized technique that is four quadrant method. What is important, what is not important, what is urgent, what is not urgent. So, you can take down your points in the corresponding quadrants. And if you are having the habit of writing diary, you can do it in this 15 minutes. So what you have done today and what you are going to tomorrow. So, that entire planning for tomorrow should be done today itself before going to the sleep hmm? in this 15 minutes of time. Now, the remaining 8 hours of time duration that is 10 p.m. to tomorrow morning 6 a.m. is reserved for sleeping time, good night time, right? And don't forget to put the alarm tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. You have to remember, you have to put the alarm, you have to set the alarm, then only you have to go to sleep to have a very good night. Viewers, here we are having in this uh, effective management of uh, time, uh, I have proposed, I have suggested uh, six study slots effectively. So, in this uh, six effective time slots, uh, you can have your own plan. Uh, there is no need to have, you have to follow exactly like this. So you can have some adjustments. One and a half hour sessions can be converted into two hours and two hours can be converted into one and a half hour. According to your convenience, you can have some adjustment. But what I can suggest is you should have the management of uh, time in order to utilize effectively uh, the 24 hours per day. Now, so let me I tell you at a glance about all the six time slots uh, very quickly. Now, so in this uh, six time slots, we are having six time slots like this. So, in this, the first two are uh, two hours of selection. So, that is 7.45 a.m. to 9.45 a.m. in the morning and 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. and four one and a half hour sessions. So, two in the afternoon and two in the evening. Those are 2 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. Very difficult slot. So, in this slot, you have to select the subject which is having some physical work to be involved to avoid the sleep. Huh? Then, we are having 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. one and a half hour session and 6 to 7.30 p.m. also one and a half hour session and the last one 8.15 to 9.45 p.m. also. And before going to sleep at 10 a.m., you have to plan your tomorrow's uh, tasks to be done. Right. So, that's it for today's video. I hope uh, you have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you are having any doubts, please uh, post your doubts in the form of comments and if you like uh, really the video, please uh, share it to your friends also. That's it for today. Thank you.